All right, another beautiful neighborhood. Parking is not a problem, guys. Y you can't park on this court. There's no parking on this court. There's actually a sign here. So don't park on the court so that way nobody gets a ticket. But the street is fine. The street is great. All right, so there's AT&T. That's what these markings say. AT&T right here. I'm assuming it goes you know, straight across the lot. I'll show you what we're doing. All right, so I sprayed this out. See, the gas line's there, so I want to stay over, away from the gas line. And this is a ditch. We're taking a sump pump discharge line, two of them. And we got three, three downspouts going in here, so watch. Okay, so here's downspout number one. We can go four inch, but then we want to go with that T you know how that T takes you from six to four? We want six inch main. Right here, we are gonna drop in the sump line, but we're gonna do this the right way. Cause that's not done right. That's done bad. So we're gonna run a four inch sump line out to the ditch. We also, have to put this one on a six inch corrugated yellow. All right, now be careful guys. There's electric right there, that red dot. So the electric goes bang, bang. Here's a red, another flag. Here's a red dot and there's a red dot. So electrical is right here guys. So be careful. So there's another sump pump that comes from the backyard. We gotta connect this to a four inch. We'll start our four inch here, and we'll start our six inch for gutters here because we're gonna pick up this one in the backyard. I'll walk in the backyard, and I'll show you what this looks like. And you, you got 120 feet of schedule 40 four inch that you need, and then uh, bring, uh, you know, might as well just bring 120 feet of the six inch yellow pipe for all the downspouts. All right, I'm in the backyard going through the gate here. I'm gonna show you where the, uh, where this other sump line is from. Right here, see? So, this one needs to be tied in, guys.
Alright, so we have two sump pump lines hooked up to this big four inch. We got to get this all the way around out front. Also, we have a really big gutter. It's a three by four by four. So you, you have that drop into this gutter and then that comes down. and runs over here. So this is our first drop. Valentine, he's working on our second drop. It's really tight here, so it's hard to shoot. Got nice slope on our sump line. Beautiful slope on our, on everything here. That that part is working out. Working out great. All right, so I'm out in front now on the side of the house. Valentine's not working on that second drop. We're gonna bring that over to here. Tie it right into the six inch. We're going to a four to six inch. You can see how nice this works. You want that to be just the way you see Francisco doing it. You wanna tape it up and you want the four inch going into the six inch at the bottom. So when you go into that reducing fitting like that, that's how you want it, just the way you see it. So that's our, our two downspouts from the back are in the four inch pipe. Then we go to a six inch right away because we got our third drop right here. And we got our D box right there for vacuuming it out. Shop back it out. And we got a fourth drop right here. And these are big gutters. When you go to the three by four by four, you need less gutters on your house because they handle more of the uh, roof runoff. So we're taking care of half of the roof runoff system while we're doing the sump line. So this is working out really well for the homeowner. Now's the time to do it. We had to go ahead and get, you know, this, this is obviously a shallow sump line to daylight. We're taking it to a ditch. It's not a crazy active sump. I mean, it's like everybody else's sumps when it's raining, the thing's running. So that ditch, it'll be flowing water during the rain. So in the summertime, it's gonna be dry because we've been working on this all day, hasn't turned on once. The soil here is not that bad, to be honest with you. We, uh, Got our first uh, sandy, topsoil sand mix kind of dig <laughs> in a very long time. So that six inch pipe is going to be moving some serious water. We have a lot of slope on it. We have so much slope on this giant Boffman six inch virgin when it's yellow on the inside and yellow on the outside that's virgin material the animals don't sniff sniff out those recycled restaurant containers and chew a hole in it and here in michigan this pipe when the freeze and thaw and the ground's moving this pipe can handle all that there's going to be no issues Contractors call this their their Boffman Tiles Mini Culver Pipe. It lives up to its name. It is some heavy duty pipe. We ran it under our parking lot at our shop. We drive over it with everything we own and we're loaded heavy. And it flows water just fine. 
So I know how strong the virgin yellow six inch Boffman solid is. So we got these reducing tees, so they're really nice. It's a six inch main, and then the fact that you can do four, five, or six inch, it's very cool. So the way you see it right now being used, that reducing tee fitting, that's how we typically use it. So that's beautiful right there, man, I love it. So that drop literally falls into the, the Boffman six inch virgin yellow. I mean, we got so much slope on this system. Everything is just slope heavy. I mean, so we're gonna move water. It's gonna be ridiculous. I'd like to see this one during a torrential rain. Unfortunately, we're, we're in West Bloomfield and man, that is nowhere near where we dispatch from. It's a long commute when you're loaded heavy, when you're equipment heavy. At least this, this time we're not hauling out clay. We'll haul out a little bit of sand and we didn't have to haul in any stone because this is not a French drain. This is a roof runoff system. And we actually got three sump pumps tied into this sump line. So there's a sump line right here. That was all done Mickey Mouse and you know we took care of that did a real nice job removing that old system that was failing miserably we got two sumps coming out of the backyard so that four inch pipe is going to be moving some water during hard rain events drop right there and Valente's working on the fourth and final drop for this six inch Boffman virgin yellow mini culvert pipe this is the kind of stuff that just homeowners just don't even have the luxury of using if they go to the big box stores. I mean, these fittings, these special fittings that you've seen, you know, this really heavy six inch pipe that you could do these drops, like we have four drops in one pipe that's ripping. Not worried about it. We got D boxes catching leaves. That way, if anything plugs up, it's super easy just to take a blower, take that lid off, shop back it out, then go ahead and stick the blower in it and blow it. Anything that's in that pipe will just blow right out the discharge end. You can see Valente's using our super sticky, super stretchy 200 year tape. Stuff's great. We don't want these trees, we don't want these tree roots getting inside our roof runoff system. So we're sealing it up nice. work together on backfilling dirt dirt has the tendency of going behind the pipe under the pipe lifting the pipe so you have to work together standing on it holding that pipe in place here we happen to have some steel edging holding that down
Beautiful. He says he wants to hurry and go home. You can't get his wife pregnant twice, you know? <laughs> you like that one, huh?